Okay, we're back after a bit of a time off just because my hip was killing me. Um, back in Gears of Vengeance, uh, last time we played, you guys were had finished going through the mine, had a, fought some kind of crazy sorcerer dude of some sort, um, killing him. You kind of went and looked into the ravine or crevasse that they had found in the mine and found a place where it's possible there was a cage of some sort where that strange disturbing creature came from um satisfying Andal's brother that you had you know cleaned out the mine enough they he paid you the money begrudgingly and then you guys headed back to raventhorpe where uh the next morning you guys were woken up to um jan trying to get a hold of you because it seems that halton had been captured by goblins um goblins and the goblins were living in the place where you guys had first uh found the ruins heading over there you started looking at the ruined outpost and had noticed that get this thing wait that um things had changed a little bit since the last time you were here um it seems that they've built some kind of palisade now with a couple of towers there's no gate but at least you know they've built something there um noticing over here you see that uh a portion of this particular you remember this being sort of a defense tower where archers were shooting at you guys the last time but a portion of it seems to have collapsed um you can still just barely make out this arrow slit here so you know that there's potentially still some kind of thing that could fire from there but the rest of these look to have been collapsed in some way um, other than that, you see a couple of archers on the, from where you were looking at, you saw a couple of archers on the towers, you saw a, uh, a, a, a warrior of some sort, um, kind of walking back and forth through the gate, and then there were some people, some people, some goblins, that seemed to be doing something with the actual wall itself. There's a couple of goblins here on top in this sort of canyon where the water is kind of flowing down through, and then you also notice that there's some pens up here with some wolves and another goblin who checked who was seems to be checking on them that's kind of where you're at and you're technically not this close you're probably you know maybe another 30 or 40 feet off the map kind of hiding out a little bit what do you guys want to do and i guess the question is did i forget to put yan in here if i'm that i did that's bad of me yeah there's no yan the trapper oh wait yeah, there is. He's right there. Okay, good. Got him. <laughs> he just doesn't have a name. So, what do you guys want to do? Well, uh... it's... Not everybody at once here. Can I do a perception check? Sure. What you trying to perceive? I'm trying to get just a better, a better look, better idea of kind of what they're doing up there. Okay. Um, let me bring up this one. Pop it up. Um. Well, let me. I'll. I'll We'll keep that role, but let me let me give you this again. This um, following the stream down the small valley, eventually you see the valley narrow and the cliffs close on the stream. Not much further, you notice the stream split and can see some crude palisade walls and two rickety guard towers. Three goblins seem to be slopping mud and dirt against the base of the palisade, while two goblins armed with sword look on. Motion on the towers catches your eye, and you notice a goblin on top of each of them. The gentle curve of a bow on each back. You can see a fork. Of the stream cast it you can see the fork of the stream cascade down some small cliffs as it falls from what what must be a small valley above where the falls initially land you can see two crude pens holding three large dogs wait wolves between them another goblin is checking some equipment sitting on the ground another goblin sitting on the ground next to the pens is checking on equipment movement up there draws your eye to another goblin climbing down a ladder from a small cleft in the wall 
uh, it heads along a ledge over towards the wolf pens, and it is then, you notice two more goblin archers placed on either side of the cliffs above the palisades. So that's what you see as you first come in. Now, you did a perception roll to try to figure out what they're doing. Well, the people that are kind of on the palisades here are clearly trying to, you know, reinforce it or, you know, muddy it up, whatever you want to call it. Um, the two guys here clearly are guarding in some fashion. Um, based on what you can see and what you've been seeing, you can definitely see um, there's an archer here, which you can just barely see. Uh, these seem to be goblin warriors of some sort. Not sure 100%. Although you can barely, you can't really see one because of the wall. Actually, technically, you can see a goblin warrior right here, even though you can't see it in the map because he's up the hill, up the up the canyon wall. And then right up here is this guy that's checking some tack or something, as if like he was gonna ride these wolves. Um, are you looking for anything well, else specific? Um, not right at this second, no. Okay, also remember that's it kind is, of what she was looking for. It is probably late afternoon, just because you remember the it takes you almost a takes you better better part of a half day to get to this here from the from the village. We're looking for the the, the guy, right? Yeah, Jan says Giannis told you that Halton was captured by the, the goblins. They had come here, they were they he and he and Halton were investigating the goblin attacks or the attacks on people and determined they were goblins had tracked them to here and while they were while they were trying to figure out what to do so a goblin patrol attacked them captured halton and, and jan got away Dude, did i get an eyeball on halton no you don't see halton anymore. as i was looking okay you don't see halton anymore. um what do you guys what do, what do you guys want to do? What's our plan of attack? I don't know. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. How deep is the stream? How deep is the water? Is it clear? Can we stain down through? Um so think of this as sort of like a mountain stream, like a like a Colorado mountain stream kind of thing. So, you know, places are probably maybe a couple feet deep. People in places might be four feet deep, just depending on how quick, quickly the water's running and stuff like that. Um, down in this particular area where it's kind of flowing past where you guys are at, it's probably two to three feet deep. It's not super deep, no. But it's flowing towards us yeah. down. Oh, yeah. Okay. So going in that way is probably not a good Getting out that way maybe, but not going in. Um, okay. I, I will remind the three who have been here before that we do know there's a secret entrance. Down this down this canyon way, sorry. Down this canyon way here, up on the cliffs there are there are cat there are caves. And that was that led into a back entrance. Oh well, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, this is a You guys remember the caves? I think we should go through there. Yes, let us go through the secret entrance of which I know nothing. <laughs> um, it is mid-afternoon. That's a pretty large open spot. It's, uh, expansive. Okay, you got that nightlight? I can't remember. Yeah. They do have yeah, dark right. vision. But... The night doesn't really help us necessarily. Secret entrance cave. Let's go. Right. Secret entrance is. cave. Let's go. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right, what do you got? So you guys are going to try to head towards the cave? Is, that where is it up through past? I mean, is it that right fork? Is that where we go up through? To get yeah, through, through this canyon. Up through this canyon. But again, I will, I will again remind you, there's a large amount of open area here. And there are definitely two right. guys who are looking in this direction, attempting to watch for, you know, problems. If we cross, if we go directly south and cross the stream there, there's really not much cover back there. There's either. not a lot of cover like, in this, this valley, valley. You think of it as a, you know, most of it is grass and dirt with a few bushes here and there along the stream. Just like you're seeing here, there's just, it's not very, uh, you know, it, they get rain here every so often. 
And so basically this is the amount of vegetation they get. So there's just not a ton of it. In fact, so we can't climb up the thing here without being seen? Climb up what thing? Right here on the left. This thing here? This little rock. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Okay. So that's a mountain and it keeps going up. And okay. up and up and up. <laughs> like it's a canyon wall. It goes another, it turns into a mountain as it goes up to the top. Like this okay. is just showing so you the first 50 or so feet of it. Not the Gotcha. There is Does no actual level. Like, Go ahead, Chen. Does anyone have any type of darkness, or we could distract them, but then we'd split the party. So, who's our could stealthy? Also just wait for nighttime. Mm -hmm. Well, because they have night vision, and we don't. Well, the interior is probably not going to be dark. Speak for yourself. I've got it. Yeah, I've got it too. <laughs> Well, we can't we can't get to the secret entrance if we don't want to go through the front then we have to wait till nighttime we cannot go just walk through there give me an insight check john john insight john. artemis please give me an insight check not john <laughs> same person you ever seen them yeah. two in the room together <laughs> um not bad artemis you remember I, it suddenly dawns on you that Dark vision only goes a certain distance, and beyond that, you can't see very well. Yeah, I would think they would know that too, but it's not as, it's less than light time. So, yes, wait till night. All right, where do you guys want to go try to? Uh, and we can go back to the, can we go back to that place we camped out last time? Yeah, you can go back there if you like. Yeah, that wasn't too far away, was it? No. No, it's a little ways back, but not terribly far. Didn't we just slaughter some guys getting here? I mean, a couple of them ran off, so they'll probably be on no, guard for right now. One guy ran. Well. Yeah, one of them got away. But yes, you you did fight a patrol of some sort. They tried to ambush you, but um, so we could, that's what happened last time we came here. They tried to ambush us. Yep. We could rest there and then ambush them if they because they're going to send a patrol out. See what happened. Maybe. If there's a good spot to ambush them, I don't know. Well, I don't know. You see how well it worked out for those two two, two groups. Yeah, Andal is mentioning that there is a cave. There is a cave further back down the va down this little canyonish area that oh, well, let's do that. Okay. last time is all he's pointing out. All right, I'm so just you, trying to goblins. You guys head back down to that cave and kind of, kind of, you know, settle in there for a bit, waiting for nightfall. Uh, who is going to take a short rest? Is anybody going to be doing any kind of watches or anything? And I I'll be assume, first watch. I'm assuming you're doing a short rest just because it's going to be an hour. It's going to be at least two or three hours, if not more. Okay. All right. So um, I can take a watch. Um, about. About an hour into waiting for dark nightfall you see a what you assume is a patrol go by down down below you in the in the little in the area, uh in the little canyon um below your the cave you're currently sitting in uh they it seems to be like a couple of those you know warriors with swords and stuff like that several goblins maybe five or six um just regular goblins that they're they're basically the the warriors are kind of shoving them along and basically saying Keep moving! Keep moving! Keep going! Josh, we gotta get back! I'm tired of being out here! Um, and most of the goblins are moving as quickly as they can because they want to get back too, but um, one seems to be kind of slow. And then a couple archers. Um, and they seem to be... And the people who heard that are the ones who speak goblin. If you speak goblin, you understood what he said. I honestly don't know if any of you speak goblin. I don't know. Yeah. I speak dwarvish. Eh, dwarvish doesn't quite work. I don't see why that would be the case. Okay, you heard them speak in some strange tongue. <laughs> and uh, they push one of them. Um, yeah, none of you can understand it. Um, and uh, and they continue on past. They don't seem to notice you. They seem to be more interested in getting back to uh, the the ruins than they do in potentially doing their job, which is patrolling the area. Um, uh, another hour goes by. And uh, nothing else happens. Uh, you can have your short rest now if you were trying to take one. 
Um, I will also mention that it looks like Andal has really? some, some damage. I don't know why. I got hit last time. Oh, right. It took the... a long rest, didn't we? No, but we... Oh, no, because oh, it's a thing. Here, on the way here, you... We didn't take a long rest, Cole. For some reason, I forgot about the control. I rolled a one out of eight. Yep, good for you. Freaking amazing. I got a point back, so Not really. know, update your points. I, I did. It's there. <laughs> All right. But, you know, I could have just gone to full. You could have had you rolled better. Yeah. All right, so after a couple more hours, um, you don't notice any other goblins go in or out of the, this portion of the valley. Maybe they go another way, you don't know, but you just don't notice any others coming or out. Um, and night falls. So, oh, so fun. Night falls in the, uh, in the, uh, in the region. Um, all right, what do you guys gone, want to do now? Um, I guess head out, right? We yeah. must sneak. All right, so you guys start heading um, towards the towards the cavern. Uh, it is a bit dark, but I mean, there is enough moonlight or enough light from the moon and stuff like that that you don't necessarily have to have a torch. You can only see. Um, well, that's interesting. You have no dim light vision. Consider it. Yeah, you do have dim vision. It's just not. Yeah, you just can't see very well. Oh, because... I'm casting major armor on myself. Oh, screwed up. This guy is not set up to have vision. That's why it didn't work. Sucks. That no spells clocks. All right, you're casting major armor on yourself. That's good. I'm going to do my crimson right on my short bow. Okay. So who's the sneakiest here to lead? It'll be Andal. Yeah, probably me, but I can't see in the dark, so it'll be fine. I'm, I'm sneaky, and I see in the dark. Well, awesome. You, you go, go ahead. We'll follow up. Yep. The problem is, is that potentially she doesn't know exactly where to go. That's all. Well, yeah. Andal can be right behind her, the director. But he just... All right, I'm updating your guys' vision so that you have the proper vision for, for nighttime. Nighttime. Right. Yep, for nighttime. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so you guys move yourselves how you want to try to start moving in. And. Uh, at some point, give me a stealth roll. Where are you going? Where am I going? Yeah, exactly. No, no where, follow me. Oh, where are you? Here? Yes. Okay. We're going down. It's not up that mountain. It's down and around. Okay. Here? Yeah, yeah we're going to go this way. Uh, stealth rolls time? Yep. Oh yeah. Let's go. Morgoth came to play. Ah! Artemis did not. <laughs> I'm a barbarian. What do you want? Okay, let's see here. Cole's a fighter. Oh god. All right, we have that amount of stuff. Okay, let me uh, do a little bit of a. Oops. I don't like dim light. It's ugly. I guess not. <laughs> mm. Ooh. You wow. going? Well, that's like... So as you're going, uh, wow, these guys are really observant. As you're going, you, uh, you do see, um, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh well, uh, I may have to, I may have done something. Interesting, you shouldn't be able to see what they see, which I guess you're kind of not, but you kind of are, it's weird. Um, 
Yeah, you know, see what they say. Okay, um, so you uh, you guys head over there. Um, uh, you uh, actually, I did that wrong because they should have disadvantage, so they should be using those rolls. Um, and you make it. You start. You cross the river. Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, we're crossing the river yeah. and then yeah. going up along okay. the. All right, you guys other... splash through the water a bit louder than you hope were hoping you would do, and um, and looking back, you can see that the these archers definitely are looking in your direction. And from this distance, it's hard to say if they're looking directly at you or if they're or if they're just looking around. But no shout, no no alarm is raised. So, well, what do you guys want to do next? You gonna keep moving, mm -hmm. right? I'm just going to stop there for about five or ten minutes and then start moving. All right. Well, when you start moving, give me another another stealth roll. See, this is why I'm stealthy person to get first. We are going first. Hey, that's better. You just have to also come. <laughs> Everybody does stealth? Yep. yep. You're all moving, aren't you? They're watching for you. They're they're looking. Oh, uh, who rolled a one? Okay, well, I got a 20 Morgoth. and then a one. <laughs> Morgoth is on the camera this evening. All right, so you guys move, so move about 60 feet, and then we'll uh, have another discussion. <laughs> so I'm not move. a stealthy person. Move yourselves about Yeah, and you rolled better than, you know... The other stealthy person. Apparently, I'm the only one here who can really stealth. And I'll come Dad, in. we've been leaving Jan behind. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, that's coming. So you guys went to here, and then he's one, two, three, four, five. And so you stop health down. You didn't take my one, one hut die, and I rolled a one. Okay, so get get yourselves around in on here a, on a D eight. That is what I got. You don't have the other die? I only had one because you only regen one a day and I'd already used the other two. I'd use both of them. Yeah, my life is trash. I feel like this time they're going to see us. Or at least oh, he's melting again? Oh, that's their perception. No, no, it's just their perception. Um, plus, I was also trying to see what their actual vision was. They put the blind guards on duty tonight. Well, no. It's just I'm trying to figure out what what they can actually see. That's weird. Why is it not? This one's showing me something, but this one, oh, he can't, he literally can't see anything where he was at. That's right. Okay. Um, uh, it doesn't seem like anybody has noticed you so far, so continue on your way. So Jan is going to run, roll his stealth this time if I can find him in this mess of people. Mm, not so good. And then he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. I rolled twice on accident. Uh, one of them, you got double crits. That it was the second one. I don't know if expertise equals advantage. Probably not. Okay, I'm killing your first one. No, it does not. Expertise does not give you advantage. No, it, it gives you double proficiency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is why we still get an eight. Ah! All right, so you guys get to get up into this area, kind of where you're at now. Um, and that's a heck of a lot of ones. <laughs> Morgoth did okay. Getting him out of the way. John, not so great. Artemis, not so great. Yeah. Shelly did all right. Uh, I failed. And unfortunately for you guys, the guy who is looking in this direction literally gets a 20 and does see John the Trapper, it turns out. All right. You hear a... Arr, 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 and then an arrow comes flying out at Jan the Trapper. How can he see us for around the wall? Here. He's up top. He's up top. He can oh, there's another one see. we can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, both shots. I don't even remember where this cave actually is on the wall. It's up. It's up above. Uh, ten 
actually misses you on the trapper. So an arrow kind of land, kind of clatters up against the wall next to him. He's like, um, and you can you can hear uh, the the twang of the bowstring from you guys, um, and then you hear a yeah 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 yeah. So clearly someone has seen you, and the alarm has been raised. What do you want to do? Great. Mm. That did not go well. I was hoping we could sneak into the cave and then stay there until morning and wait for the patrol to leave again. <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't sneak into the cave. It's just you've been seen going down this, this canyon. Yeah, but then they'll find yeah. the cave. Yeah, but we can use the cave as a choke point. Oh, um, yeah. Too. I mean, Let's just keep ahead of them. There's there's a possibility. Yeah. We can right, go well, in and hide, and if they do still see us, we can use it as a choke point for fighting. I think right, that, I don't so... think it's going to be that bad. Plus, it is a secret entrance to get into the dwarven part. So. Add you guys Correct. to there. We'll add these guys to there. So, I'm going to go stealth and defensive action to try to dodge the area. Oh, you're going to you're going to roll initiative first. Is what you're going to do. Uh, oh, okay. yep. Now we go into initiative. We're in combat. Now I'm just rolling fives. What the heck? Trash player. And yeah, I'm the trapper. All right, here we go. The battle for the ruined dwarven outpost begins, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that archer who fired one shot gets to fire again. He can still only see Jan the Trapper, so he's going to fire at Jan. Um, that is a 17, which will definitely hit. Jan takes four points of damage as another arrow comes out and slams into his slams into his ar his shoulder. It's like, ow! And he reaches up and kind of snaps it off um, as he starts to move forward. Silva, you're up. Hey! Oh, yeah, this guy. Back. So. Hi! We'll do a thing. You'll do a thing. That sounds awesome. Please do a thing. Uh, oh, my vision thing is moving with me, by the way. Pardon? My vision is not moving with me. You only have dim vision. There's no, there's no there's no light source. So Oh, I thought it was I thought we had light. No, you don't have any oh. light. If you had light on, these guys would have saw you a long time ago. Okay, I thought you said there was enough moonlight to see. There's some no. moonlight for dim vision, and if you'll notice, if you if you were to notice, you, the the canyon is slowly being revealed, which means you do have dim vision. Okay. Um, okay. You're just not seeing anything in a bright, any kind of bright thing. I mean, they just do this before I see darkness. So. Mm. You may the... maybe because you only have a. Uh, uh, where are you? Are you Artemis? Where is Artemis? Oh wait, never mind. Where are you? I thought I moved. I'm back. <laughs> I was waiting for ten minutes and you guys moved. No, no, <laughs> they waited ten minutes too. It's just they moved. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> and then you didn't move with us. <laughs> um. The. I was just trying to make sure entrance. everything was set up with your vision. But that's what I was wondering. I was too many A names in this group. Anyway, uh, what are you doing, Silva? The entrance is is at the end of this little canyon, right? Well, you remember it being down the canyon and then up the cliffs. So if I went a full 60 movement to here, where up the cliffs is it? Like, am I close to the entrance? Oh, uh, I see it now. You can see, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. Entrance. Never mind. Yep, yeah. no, um, it's all good. So, yeah. I'm a double move to there. Okay. Um, I guess. Uh... All right, you double move. Bonus action. Yep. Um, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. Because uh, I don't want to die. All right, so cast Sanctuary on yourself. So yeah, if they try to attack me, they have to make mm -hmm. a totally. DC 13. And that's everything. All right, Artemis, you're up. You so see... I have my shield your mage armor was on, for sure. My mage armor's on. Yep. I have an actual physical shield. Okay. Um, my AC seventeen. Are they on? The archer is on the northern cliff. You you saw yep. you heard more than saw the arrows come from this direction. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna hug that side. 
And I'm doing a stealth half move and defensive action for my action. All right, well, roll your roll your stealth. Yep. I'm not very good at it, but maybe because I'm, you know, in the blind spot. Hmm. I suck. <laughs> All right. Uh, not a stealthy character. You did defensive. Well, then I don't know why you're trying to stealth, but that's okay. Good try. Uh, All right, so an another archer comes out. All he can still see is Jan the Trapper, so he attacks Jan the Trapper. <laughs> Jan is taking the brunt of this because he's basically almost last. Um, 12 does not hit, unfortunately, and then this guy moves back. All right, Jan gets missed as an arrow. Another arrow comes flying out of there. Um, what I do need to do is, at the end of this round, do Shelly, you're up. Okay, I'm going to, like, stealth up the canyon. Okay. I don't know how much stealth is going to do for you, because you have been spotted, at least, in some sense. They know you're there. Oh, but... okay. Well, then I'll just double move regular. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. All with these guys. There. Yeah. You move Ooh. up to there. Okay. Jan... Tired of getting shot at, runs like nobody's business. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, he gets to here. Um, that's his double move. Uh, he's like, he's like, in, a, in sort of a stage whisper. He's like, yes, up there. We need to get up there. I'm, I'm gonna start free climbing here shortly. I know you're up. Free, free climbing is not my strong suit. I need a belay. Anyway, Andal, you're up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just continue to try to stay stealthed. Okay. All right. You can move half your move speed. Which means that if you do a double move, you can do 30 feet if you do... Oh, well, you did stealth, so double move. Excuse me. D3. Think that was 30? Something that's close. Morgoth. All right. Moving time. One, two, three, four, five. And then... <laughs> okay. Wait, six. Then six again. <laughs> okay. I can do math. Yes, you can. All right. It is going to be the top of the round. However, I need to add a few more guys. This. And we are going to run. Okay. I know what they'll be doing when it's their turn. And in fact, one of them actually gets to go first. So he, oops. Um, and then this guy, all right, this one is gonna try to shoot, but he doesn't see anyone where he's at. Yeah, he doesn't see anybody. Um, that's this hill goblin's turn. Uh, let's see here. Artemis, you hear from above you, you hear a, I see him. I see him. Are you here or somewhere? The other one, another one going, I hear him. I see him. You know, I hear him. You're not sure what they're saying, but it does seem like maybe they're arguing, maybe. Silva, you're up. Okay. <laughs> Silva is going to attempt to climb. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, each one of these kind of uh, little ledge kind of things here is is uh, the equivalent of I do five feet or ten feet one. Five feet. So the cliff to get up there is about thirty-five feet to get all the way to the top up here. Okay. 
Here's my athletics roll. That's a pretty good athletics roll. You climb up 15 feet. You free climb 15 feet. So you basically just put yourself there. You're about halfway up. Yes. Can I double move? Um, yeah, you can double move. Just give me another athletics check. Oh. All right. Silva makes it to the top. Hooray! Well, All almost right. at the top. You're basically at this ledge right here. Is where you're. Okay. At. You're 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 almost at the top. Like I said, it's 35 feet. Uh, Artemis. Okay. Whoops, I accidentally double clicked. So I'm gonna get a stone and cast light on the stone. No. And I'm gonna throw it the opposite way and then move, like so it's still sheltered, but they can see the light. They'll be able to target us, John. Not if I throw it down. You that will way. illuminate the whole stinking party before you throw it. I believe. Right. 40 feet. Hold on. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Hold on. Let me make a, let me make a stone light. I'm not going to kill us. Yes, it's going to illuminate the whole party before you throw it. And they're right, going to see so you recline. You pick up this stone foot. and you, it gets it a light. It doesn't matter at that point. The uh, light spell does what? Oops, I've accidentally clicked on Artemis. Artemis, you moved for a moment so I can. I don't like the John. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> Stone light. Um, it has a light radius. How? What's your light? What's the light spell do for? Twenty foot, twenty foot for bright, and twenty foot for dim. Twenty forty. And, and I'm gonna chuck it as far as I can down that way. All right. Give me one second, and then we will. Uh, and this is a just a solid light. All right. All right, so there's the light. So you turn on this light, and that's what it currently shows um, as you do what you're doing. So technically, you've illuminated all the way up to Andal with this as of right now. And then you chuck it. So give me a, um, well, first of all, cast your light spell. Second of all, give me a, a s athletics check. Okay, and then... Another great thing I'm good at. Well, you're trying to throw it. I mean, you're not. It's an athletic kind of thing. That's not bad. All right, so you throw it about thirty feet. We'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, and and then it bounces another ten. One, two. So it gets to about there. That's okay. where it gets to. So you're kind of just in the very edge of the dim light of it right now, but that's what it does. So cast light. That's what a an action. It's an action. All right, and then throwing it, I will give you as a bonus action. Um, you can still move. And then I'll just move um, the opposite way. I don't move up the canyon. Yep, go away. Four, five, six. Okay. okay. Um, all right, so this archer kind of goes to here. See anything? Goes to here. See anything? Um, you, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe you still. Yeah, you're far enough away now. Yeah, as you're leaving, you, you're hearing some more arguing, like like three voices, kind of tiny voices arguing. It seems like, but that's about it. Nothing else comes out of there. Shelly, Shelly, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna start climbing too. You move five feet first, and then you'll then you can climb. Okie dokie. All right. And it's athletics. Yes, yeah, athletics. Check. Yep. Uh, where are you? Acrobatics, athletics. There we go. Um, you are struggling to find handholds, and so you just don't make any progress for your. For your move action. If you'd like to dash and climb again, you may. I would like to. All right. So you have 30 feet. You can try to move, which would be 15 feet climbing. But unless you have a climb speed, in which case then it's a climb Yay. speed. Yay. Okay. That one is, oh, I can pick up your die. That's kind of creepy. I wasn't trying to, but I can do so. <laughs> anyway, um, 
You make it up 15 feet, so you're you're basically right here. You're halfway up. All right. Um, all right. Jan kind of looks at you to their climbing up. He's like, I was going to let down a rope. But he starts climbing up. So. Don't get used to rope. <laughs> he's going to let down a rope. That's what he's going to do. Um, but I'm already here. He climbs up 15 feet. And then he continues climbing. My blanket. And he makes it up to what? almost the top as well. So you Down. Okay. two of you are almost at the top. Oh. Andal. Yeah. Well, someone just lit up the freaking world. Yeah, you and saw something. The ball. You saw, well, it didn't lit up the world. You were in the dim portion of the light, and then kind of threw it threw it down the down the way. Uh, well, I'm going to continue to move. I'm not going to stealth this time, I think. Okay. Where are you headed to? Where I know just climb up. Okay. And two, three, four. And then I can climb here. Sure. Although you see Silva is <laughs> kind of almost to the top there. Five. Yeah, I'll climb here. Oh, so five and then do your climb check. Which means that you'll have to do a dash because you've moved five feet. You've moved five, and you have to have at least two to climb. Well, I can do a dash as a bonus action. I you know, but I your suck. dash doesn't. You're you're again. You struggle trying to find the way to get correctly on it, and so it's just you know you you take more than your six seconds trying to figure out how to climb up it. Morgoth. Hey. Uh, I'm just gonna go where Jan went to go up and wait. Okay. All right. I'll defensive action. So. All right, top of the next round. It's going to be just my little dude here. It's his turn. Where is his? He's not showing the thing. Um, he has shouted, so that means this one, this one. You can add that one. This one. This one. All right, so he continues down, which does one, two, thing, two three, four, five, six, one, two, and then he's talking with them. Goblin Archer continues to argue with this guy over here. He doesn't see anybody. Um, this one finally gives up and says, Far, one, two. Now it's Silva, you're up. You like the table? Okay. Huh? Do I have to do another climb check for this last five feet? Yes, you just have to get above a 10. Oh. Or something like that. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> All right. All right, so you get up on top. It only takes you 10 less movement, so you still have 20 movement left. Okay, so... Twenty. All right. And you still have uh, if you'd like to do anything with it. Nope. All right, Artemis. So far, no one seems to have ran towards where your light is, but you also don't know. Like you're kind of heading down the ca the canyon, so who knows what's yeah. going on? One, two, three. Where does everyone seem to be climbing? You can see you can see Shelly climbing up here. You see Jan climbing up over here. They're kind of climbing up in this kind of general area. Andal starting yeah. to climb up right in front of you. It's kind of what's going on. Can I do a perception to see if there's an easier place to climb up? Sure. Do it with disadvantage because it's dark. Yeah. But. But you can check. Like yes, you can look. And that... You can wait for a rope. Yep. Right. Okay. Um, looking around, it all doesn't look very great, but you think that maybe where Shelly's kind of going up might be the easiest, because once you get up to a, the ledge up there, it's not so hard to get up. Like, you only have to go 30 feet to get up there, because this last five feet. Okay. I'll finish my move to there, and I'm done. All right. Okay, let's go.
want more? See anybody? So next one. All right. So this guy goes, speaks to that for a bit, says something. Shelly, you're up. All right. I will keep on keeping on. Let's see. <laughs> All right, give me an uh, athletics check. Yes, please. Okay. Um, give me a dexterity saving throw. Do I have advantage on dex saving throws? Why? Why would you have an advantage on dex saving okay. throws? Okay, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> I mean, I don't know of any feature that gives you advantage on them, but it doesn't mean you don't. Yeah. I just don't know of anything. Um, you start to slide down. You, you kind of go to get your grip on something and you miss it, and you start sliding down, and you're able to arrest your fall after about five feet. So you're un you didn't take any damage, but you're now, you're now instead of 15 feet up, you're only 10 feet up. Okay. Um, and you've made um, no progress for that particular move action. If you'd like to dash, you can. I will. I thought that was a nine, but it's actually six. All right. Um, again, you you just you're you're trying to get figure out the right, and you're just not making any progress. But you don't fall any further. Uh, let's see here. This guy does that. Where's the rope? Yeah. Jan does one more athletics check. Keeps doing that. And gets up on top, and then he uh, do that, and then he um, vision, Turn off his vision, That's why. uh, and then he uh starts taking. He takes out a rope, and he's gonna start starts letting it down over the edge here. Handle, you're up. Well, time to climb. So it's at 18. Why is it not updating? There it goes. It's not. You start trying. And we're back from yet another technical snafu. All right, uh, Andal, you had tried to climb up, but uh, were unable to find any purchase on your move. If you'd like to dash, you can try. You can continue to try to climb up. I'm sorry, my headphones turned off right as he started talking for no reason. So you said I couldn't find purchase. Can I Correct. try again? You can dash. No problem. You can dash and continue to try a second time with okay. an athletics check. You're Jesus. struggling mightily to figure out how to climb Why can't I place. roll above a 10? <laughs> right. Well, you see, I actually can. It's just I get unlucky on the RNG of which RNG. one is first. Jesus. All right. Uh, Morgoth, you're up. Um, did Jan throw down his rope? He has lowered down a rope. Well, I'm going to start climbing. All right, give me a climb check. And he has to give me a strength check. Your right, climb check is fine. Let's just hope he can hold you. Um, no, you cannot. You start to climb up, and you hear up above, Oh my god, what are you wearing? And the rope slips down, and you basically get back down to the bottom. Come on, you don't man. fall. You just get both. You just you well. I guess I'll you. climb up myself. He just can't seem to hold you. At least that particular attempt. He's calling you fat. <laughs> I'll climb up myself. All right. If you want to do a climb check, you can start climbing. All right. You make it up 15 feet, so you're about halfway up. All right. So this guy has been chatting over here. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. Five, six, two, three, and then 
uh, he looks at that. It is now this turn. He actually goes with him. All right, and this guy can't do anything. This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. All right, that one does. Silver, you're up. Cool beans. Come on, move so I can see where I want to go. There we go. Goodness. Um, All right, it's definitely dark in here. Like, once you get in about 10 feet, if you don't have dark vision, you can't see. I know you have dark vision. I'm just saying it's yeah. kind of dark in here. Um, I'll stop there. And wait for them to kind of get in, and catch up. Artemis, you're up. Oh, Artemis. Yep. Artemis was waiting for Shelly to get to the top. She seems to have gotten stuck about halfway up. Is the rope still there? Yeah, the rope's still there. It just slid through Jan's hands. Like he's still got a hold of it at the top. It's just Morgoth's kind of heavy with his armor and everything else that he's got. Is multiple? Actually, I don't think Morgoth has multiple javelins, but. Um, You're fat. He's not fat. He's got a lot of stuff. The, <laughs> I can feel like the help option, help action, kind of brace her feet. Is she tall? Is she where I can reach her and kind no, of? No, she's her like her. about ten feet up, so no. she's not easily where you could help her unless you were to climb up next to her. All right, I guess I'm gonna try to climb. This will be fun. Well, like I said, the rope is still over there where Jan is. You just have to go over where Morgoth is. Okay, well, I'll go I'll dash and go up with more got this. Well, uh, you have three. Something... No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You you are right here. Right. One, two, three. That's now considered the bottom of the thing. Workout's halfway up. Oh, the diagonals don't... Okay, he's up, he's up high. No, he's got up. It. He's halfway up. Um, so... But I thought he, he fell. No, he didn't fall. He couldn't. He he tried to climb up Jan with the rope, and Jan couldn't hold the rope, so he didn't. He just slid down, and then he did a climb himself. He just free climbed. So he's half. So he doesn't have a hold of the rope. Though. He does not have a hold of the rope. Okay, then yeah, I'll try a dash action up the rope. All right, give me an athletics check. I have to have Jan do a strength check. Can I use acrobatics? Nope, it's climbing. I'm not good at either one of them, so it's just really more amusing. Well, five is good enough. You can climb 15 feet. <laughs> okay, and then the dash action or roll again? What dash action? You had to move well, 15. Over. You had to move 15 feet to get there, which means that the most you could have moved okay, at fine. the end of that with climbing would have been five feet. So sure, if you'd like to climb, use the dash action to climb again. You may, but you'll only be up 20 feet. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. Um, these guys are not doing anything. Shelly, you're about halfway up. Okay. Um, I still want to get to the top. I know. Just is, can checks. I reach the rope from where I'm at? Uh, do you have arms that are 15 feet long? Yes. Watch. Ooh. So uh, roll your athletics check. Watch the girl. <laughs> the, rope, the rope is over here. <laughs> You're over here. Uh, 14 is good enough. You make it up to the to the top here. Yay. So you can now that that would have been your movement. So if you wish to dash and continue forward, you can without having to climb. And as you get up here, you can. It's very clear. You can see that there is some openings up here into, into some caves. Okay, I'll dash. One, two, three. Uh, Shelly, you're starting here. Oh, uh, here. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, all right, it's okay. Yeah, um, uh, I know. You just one, two, three, four. Is this the cave here? That's one entrance, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> it's 
nothing. That one does nothing. Yawn is like... Uh, actually, Artemis, you're kind of halfway up, so I'll put you right there. You're just on top of Morgoth, basically. Um, Yawn's like... He's try he tries to pull you higher, is what he's going to try to do. Um, he's got to get at least a 15. Which he does. So right. uh, you're going to be another five feet up when you start next time, Artemis. Um, you get it, you hear? Andal, mm -hmm. you're up. In fact, I will put you oh. here. Technically, you're not quite that high, but you're above. You've now passed Morgoth as he's pulling you. Is okay. there a, there's a rope now, I'm guessing? Over, Over here. here. <laughs> All right, well, I moved to the bottom, and then I will ready my action when there's time to actually start, you know. Okay, well, technically Artemis is currently on the rope. Morgoth is halfway up, free climbing. Morgoth, you're up. I, I will wait for the rope, because I apparently suck. <laughs> I'm time. Morgoth, give me a dexterity saving throw. So you slide down about 10 feet, but catch yourself. So you're not, you, didn't fall all the way to, you didn't fall all the way to the bottom, and you take one point of damage from on your hands as they slide down against the rocks and you cut yourself on one. I'm trying again. All right. So you climb 15 feet. That's as far as you get. So you're you were at 15 feet. You fell 10. You climbed 15. You're now at 20 feet. You basically make it up to where Artemis currently is. Cool. All right, this guy. Um, was one, two, three, four, five, six. Perch. Let me get to him. Okay, you guys that are kind of climbing up, you can see down the canyon, you can see a light, a torch. Someone is carrying a torch and coming down the canyon towards you guys. Uh, not to, you know, not to speed, not to hurry you up or anything. Right. <laughs> Okay. Nothing. That one's waiting. Silva. No one else has quite made it up there yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait till they get in here. I don't wanna go too deep in and get caught, you know right. by myself. Give me another athletics check while Jan okay. continues to try to uh pull you up. You cl are climbing fine. Jan, um, you're climbing fine, yeah, but the rope starts to slip a little bit as Jan loses his grip on it a little bit. So you climb 15 feet, but he slips five feet. So yeah, you make it a total of 10 feet, which gets you right at the edge and on. It's still enough because he pulled you up five feet before. So you get Thank up you. on uh, for your movement. Thank you. Um, can I get up on the other side and shield him? Use my shield between him and the uh, goblin coming up. I mean, you can get up on here. You're not sure. Like, you can see the torch in the distance. You're right back. But it's not. I mean, you're pretty sure they can't see you yet. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, I'll have a shield. So while he's helping people up. All right. Um, sure. Shelly, your turn. Okie dokie. Um, I have dark vision. Does that make any difference? You can see in the cave. Okay. Uh, shall I keep two moving then? One. Two. Mm, there's Silva. Hey, Silva. Three. Where do we go from here? Four. Does he indicate which way? 
She, Bye. I don't know what she says because she kind of went away for a moment. <laughs> Six. Oh, there's nothing there. <laughs> Not there. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I guess I'll move back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, would you do that? Six. Yan. Um, it's like uh, Artemis, get into the cave. That way, they, that way, if that guy gets up here, he, can, he can't see anybody. Um, okay. And then uh, he's like, Morgoth, grab the rope and get up here. Handel, you're up. Can I grab the rope? Yeah, if you want. Morgoth hasn't yet. I'm going to grab the rope. All right, grab the rope. I'm going to climb. Give you a climb check. Uh, needs to do a strength check. God. Why do you... Freaking... Why do you even try? All right, well, Jan is fine. You struggle to hold on to the rope, but Jan pulls you up five feet. Actually, uh, with the can, he pulls you up ten feet. Can I do the dash action now? Sure, you can do the dash action. He just needs to keep trying to... Roll athletics again? Yep. Maybe I'll roll higher than a two. All See, right. I crit this time. Look All at right, that. So hold on. So you're up <laughs> ten feet... He pulls you another five, so fifteen. You can move fifteen. You make it up to the top. Yay! Look at that. If I, it took me like seven tries, but I was able to roll right. something Morgoth, above ten. You're up. Let's do this. Hiya! All right, you make it up fifteen feet, which actually gets you to the top, because I remember you had. Falling back 10, but you moved up 15 last time, so now you're at the top. So if you wish to dash to continue into the cave, you may do so. Ring. All right. Okay. Now the hail goblin. One, two, three. All right, so the, the, who's, ever, who's ever coming with the torch seems to have slowed down a bit, almost as if, and you can see the torch, like he's kind of bent over, looking, examining the ground. And, and at this point, also, you can start to see that there is another goblin coming with him. He's behind him. So. All right, that one's doing nothing, that one's doing nothing. Silva, you saw Shelly come in. She asked you where to go. He didn't respond, so she went down the <laughs> down the cave herself. Sorry, I was in the restroom. Okay. I honestly, it's been a while. I don't remember which way is the dead end. Um, but if I could see the map, I could tell you, but I, I not in the parts. So I don't remember. Pretty sure it's the left. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you come up to the thing, I'll, I'll kind of describe this a little bit as you guys are going through. The, the three cave entrances lead into the canyon wall. The light dims after about about 10 feet. Well, if you were during the daylight, it'd be 20 feet. But, but the caves themselves seem to be mostly dry with very little of the typical cave structures. Um, it's about as far. I'm going to double move. All right. Get a little bit farther in. Yeah, right about there. Okay. That's uh, my turn. Artemis. Everybody seems to be up. All right, so I'm going in. And I'm going to peel my way on the wall. So I can't see. <laughs> yeah, so now, yeah, once you get into here, Artemis, you, you struggle to see. Which way are we going? Um, let me do the following for you, quick, which you're not going to appreciate, but. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna light a torch once I get deep enough in. No, I know, I understand that, and that's fine. I'm just. No, I, I know. I gotta see how what the uh, light radius is on torch, but I'm done for now. Uh, yeah, you should look it up. 
I think it's 30. I think it's 1530 is what I think. Yeah. Hey, why don't you cast the light spell? I could do that. Uh, 2020, so... Which, no, which one? The torch or the light? The torch is 20 feet. Um, it's 20 bright. feet. Dim, but I'm not, I'm not using it yet. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so you get to there. These guys are doing nothing. Shelly, you're, you can hear Artemis kind of shuffling behind you. Like, he, you can hear him. He's like keeping his feet <coughs> low on the ground so he doesn't trip on anything or anything like that. It's very clear he, he's having trouble seeing. Um, is he, he's like, hey, this way, Artemis. I mean, you can turn around and see him and see that he's yeah. kind of like doing the whole. Me, I can't see you. <laughs> he's kind of moving his arms around, flailing about, trying to make sure he doesn't run into anything. Okay. My next plan is a refound by Firebolt. Did, did I see the uh, goblins with the torches or anything like that? No, because you had already in the, before they started okay. coming down this, this way. All right, I'll I'll just keep on keeping on. One, okay. two, three. I mean, you didn't four. see Silva go past you, so. And Silva never answered me, right? Silva was in the bathroom. Yeah. One, two. And like three. I said, you saw Silva go past you. Is what you saw. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. If you wish to continue on, you can. Hey, Silva, which way do I go? To the left. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And... Six. All right, Jan. Uh, and all Jan turns and heads into the thing. One, two, three, and then bumps into Artemis because, well, he also doesn't have dark vision. So <laughs> he's like, "Oh, hey, yeah, you and me." He kind of bumps into you and grabs your arm. Is like, yeah. "Do you know where we're going in here? I can't see anything." I can't either. I'm gonna light it up here. I'll take it a little further in. All right, Handel, you're up. He stops next to you and basically holds on to the side of you. He doesn't. It's not like he grabs your hand or anything. But All right, well, I will also go in. Okay. I collided with the wall, Pug. Um, that was like three. You have dark vision, right? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, then let's change your vision too, as you go in. What plan was this? The whole do with this at the dark? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, it's up and to the right. Five, six. Man, Morgoth doesn't have it either, so. Yeah, we don't have, none of us have this vision. We all suck. The, the two people with the dark vision ran off and left the people who can't see. Of course they did. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, I, I did. I was making noise and said, come this way. Everyone, hold hands. I'll come back for you. <laughs> All right. So, Andal, you get to there. Um, Morgoth, you're up. Okay. This is a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> That's a move. Hold up. All right, so there's a double move. Yeah. All right, so this guy needs to give me a survival check. I'm trying to follow your tracks. That's a hell of a survival check for a goblin. <laughs> All right. right, so one, two, three, four. And then he continues to look around here. You can, um, Artemis and Jan, potentially, but he's not saying anything yet. You can see, as you kind of look back, you can see a faint glow just barely kind of coming up over the edge of the cliff edge there. So, I mean, he's clearly 30 feet below, so this thing is just light. It's just barely lighting up on top here. 
Um, and it seems to have stopped for the time being. Bye. This guy's with him. These guys are doing nothing. Silva. Right. I will head back a little ways. All right. So you get to there and see Morgoth. He's um, struggling to get places. I'll go past him real quick. So it's five, two. So I'll grab these two. Um, I'll, I'll whisper. Hold hands, boys, and um, and grab them, and then uh, I'll double moves and try and okay, so uh, lead them out. It. All right, so all right, so start with them. You're gonna move at half speed. Okay. So you can move 15 feet and take those two with you. Okay. And, so... um, and when I get up there uh, with those two, I'll grab uh, Morgoth as well. Okay, so you get to there. Artemis, so, you've been pulled to there. They're they're behind us. They're gonna be able to track us. Well, in theory. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying that, you know, should we wait and ambush them as they come in? Or just try to outrun them? I mean it hey. appears it appears that uh Shelly, our new friend, has already decided to go with option two. But I'm fine either way. I'm just all trying right, to get well, you all grouped up so I can see you and lead you. I'm scouting ahead to make sure the way is clear. I'm going to put some light on here in a second, so one of my turns are available. Well, your turn. It's your turn. So okay, so I'm going to cast light on a crossbow in my crossbow bolt in the uh, crossbow quiver. So basically, kind of making a flashlight type effect so the light's only coming out of one end because it says it doesn't come out of open it can't be seen through no, no, I understand. Um, to make it work though you're going to have to basically find another place to hold the rest of your crossbow bolts because they're in the way basically okay what else do I have that can do that? I mean, so you do that. You can you can do that. No, um, I, I definitely can figure, do that. I just don't want to lose all my crossbow. I know. I'm just figuring out. I'm trying to figure out. Like, because you're going to try to point it somewhere. Like, they're going to potentially yeah, going to fall. fall off. But I will say that if you leave them in there, you get you get something that's going to be like this. So I've got two cases. Oh, no, sorry. sorry. How many arrows do I have left right now? I'm trying to give you some kind of thing that will work because it's not a bad idea. I'm just trying to come up with something. Okay, so it looks like that is what you kind of get. So you get sort of a, a ten foot. Actually, this thing is actually this thing actually does allow me to do emission angle degrees. We'll say ninety degrees. So now it should point be pointing when you point the direction you're pointing. It should be. Um, yeah, it points in the direction you're pointing. Okay. Um, so I have 18 crossbow bolts in that one because I've got two quivers. And do I have a backpack? Probably not. There so I guess I do have a backpack. So if I, I'll lose whatever I have to lose crossbow bolt wise. No, no, you don't have to lose anything. I'm just, it's not, it's you're just not getting the full light range. Is all I'm gonna do. Is oh no, I'm, that's, yeah, that's how that. I'm playing it. That's how I'm playing. It. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Because there's stuff in the way is kind of the way I'm looking at it. All right. So, then, so you've done your the cast your light spell, and then I've given you a light source that the direction you're pointing is the direction it will shine. Okay. Basically. So can I move now? At half speed? No, you cannot move because your move was taken up by Silva dragging okay. you into the thing. Well, I'm pointing. You can always use shift and an arrow to. Okay, there we go. Thank you. To point yourself in a direction. Um, all right, so cast your spell. Yes, that's true. Thank you. Um, Shelly, you're up. And the other light goes away, down the way. Yep, Not that you're perfect. correct. No, no, it, it is it is important to do that because <laughs> that thing goes away. Um, uh, and i got to try to determine what the hell that does to those guys because some of them can see it and some of them can't. <laughs> 
So what do I see in here? Does it, it looks like a dead well, end. Well, I will tell you what you see in here in a moment. This chamber is held up by two stone columns and rises slightly to a dead end. At the eastern end is a small patch of large mushrooms. Now, large here means, you know, about the size of an apple. So they're not like they're not like something you'd sit on or anything like that. They're but they're large in the sense that most mushrooms are not that large. Um, but what you also notice around them is that there's a series of smaller ones growing in about a three foot radius around the larger ones. Why are there mushrooms now? There was mushrooms before. There was. Yep. I remember there being mushrooms in this. There one. was mushrooms before. Cole touched them. So what? I'm moving on. Underground, there are always mushrooms. These don't look. These are mushrooms, not fungus. Difference. Four, five. Four. So as you come around, you can see that there's sort of like a light shining in your direction. Yeah, guys, this way. There's. It, it looks like a dead end, but there's a weird arrangement of big mushrooms surrounded by little mushrooms. Uh, and then. Yep. Does anybody say anything to me? Okay. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll just I'll head back where I was. Okay. Okay. And Archer there does nothing. Jan can't do anything because he was pulled forward. Um, Andal, you're up. Just like to point out that I got abandoned. You did get abandoned. Um, seems to be a dead end. You've moved 10 feet. <laughs> also, you did see... Uh, hold on. Go back to where you started from. You did see Morgoth go that direction and then go past you the other way. Okay, so I'm going to assume it's not over there. Yes. Okay. Now you've run into Jan the Trapper. And you can see a light up ahead, so... Can I not move through that? No, you have to, you literally, this is five feet, so you have to move up, over, up, over. You, you don't get the, the diagonals. All right, one second, one second, one second. Let me figure out what I did. So start here. One, two, three, three four, four, five, six. Four, five. Okay. So I can't one. move any for, any further. Why can't you? You can double move. Oh, that's right. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Six. All right, give me a intelligence check. Intelligence? Yeah, give me an intelligence check. Oh, I'm not very smart. First, we're going to start with an intelligence check. Uh, you remember that there was a secret door basically straight north from where you're at. Okay. Morgoth. It has been a while. That's why I had you do an intelligence check. Well, can I still move? Yes, they didn't pull you along. They pulled <clears throat> Artemis and Jan. All right. That's where you ended up last turn. How far can I move? Uh, you can move, double move if you want. It's just okay. remember, you only have five foot. You can can you see? see? That's why I grabbed you. Why would you? Yeah, she technically has grabbed you at this point. But... Ah, well, then. Why would you? You don't have to. Smart Andal lies. just went right past you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Then what was the purpose? You know, they complain. Oh, well, the other two didn't know where to go. There is a light shining that he can see by to a certain point. Plus, I did say, "Come, come this way," and I was making noise so y'all could find me. Noise. Wait. No. Ah, you went the wrong way. So that was your move to there. I don't know how many more movement points you have. There. <laughs> there you go. So let's see here. You went one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yep, you did a double move. All right, let's see here. Let's do a couple things first. This with this guy. Just... Uh, he doesn't notice the light going off, but somebody else did. Um, and now I gotta see if he finds your tracks or finds where you guys tried to climb up. Wow, this guy is the best tracker I've ever seen in my life. All right, so um, he gets to here. Um, uh, 
Artemis, what's your passive perception? Um, where's my phone? <sighs> Which wisdom? Um, it's just going to be 10, right? I don't have any bonuses on wisdom. All right, then you don't hear anything. Sylvia, you're up. All right. Um, I guess I'll keep dragging um, Artemis. There's, there's Artemis has literally has a flashlight in his hand. Oh, then I'm leaving him then. You can definitely see the light. <laughs> I my eyes don't work. I want to watch out behind us that they were coming up. They're tracking us. And he pulled us away. Um and I'll double move. Uh, anything else? Nope. All right, so Artemis, go for it. You have a flashlight. You are pulling Jan the Trapper, so Jan's movement will be with your movement. Okay. Um, but yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to do any kind of. Um. Don't go to Morga, and that's just kind of a dash move thing. Yep, yeah, that's fine. All right. Shelly. Shelly's there in the edge there. Um, let's pull out of initiative order for a bit. Um, so uh, give me, Artemis, give me a perception roll. Um, Andal, um, yeah, so you're, we're going to pull out of, we're going to call combat over for the time being um, because they're much smaller than you, so you think maybe it'll take them a bit longer to climb up than it took you guys. Dang. Um, but uh, yeah, Artemis, you don't hear anything. There's a weird echo in the cavern that's making it yep. hard for you to tell where some of the sound is coming from. Um, what are you guys doing? Uh, the kind entrance of, in a minute is... to minute kind of thing here. So the entrance so is to the, the north of me. I'm just advancing to where Cat is. She said something about there's mushrooms over mushrooms. here. Where, where's the entrance to the thingy? I don't know. I've never been here. Uh, Dad, can I check this this wall yeah, give right me a here? Perception roll. Since it's for what's it called? With advantage, with advantage, you have advantage. Plus, you also know where you've also seen this before. Do you have a dungeoneer's will... pack thing or something? Luckily for you, you notice it's right difference. here, guys. Hey. That really did not. Work the way it was supposed to. Hold on. Someone with uh, oh, eyeballs. Go I totally before forgot me. to put in a, a wall there. Hmm, interesting. One second. That's the wrong kind of wall. <laughs> Should have put this wall in. It should have looked like that. That's what it should have looked like. <laughs> All right, so. You guys open up the, the door. Um, if you move forward, you will move to another part of the map. Someone okay. with eyeballs go first, though. I don't. I, I have eyeballs. They all went. You're the only one. You and Artemis and Silver. Jan is still <laughs> hasn't moved yet either, though. Jan is kind of. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going now that we are game. out of the open ish, I'm going to do one of these. But, whoops. That's one of these. All right, I'm gonna uh, close the entrance. Worry about that. All right, give me a, give me a dexterity check, but in this case, it's just to see how well you close it. That's all. All right, so you get it. You close it up. It, you think maybe it's probably fine that nobody will notice that thing, and you guys are now. Unless in, this guy in crits this his freaking survival yeah, roll again. Unless he crits it. So now you are opening the secret door leads to a dark tunnel. Chunks of the ceiling lie on the floor. It leads to this larger room where debris is scattered about. I lit a torch. Uh, all right, so let me give Please you... be careful with torches. Let me give... Uh, let's see here. There are doors around there here, and is... I forget which door is where. Hold on, I gotta find Morgoth amongst all of you guys, because he's probably underneath somebody. <laughs> All right, so your dim vision is 30, and you now have
have a torch which does 40, 20, right? It's 40, 20. Yeah. All right, there you go. Okay, um, so yeah, you've, you're in this particular room. As I said, uh, opening the secret door led to this tunnel. You're in this particular room. What do you guys want to do? What are you doing? All right, well, do, does Andal remember? Do I? Do we remember that uh, where Andal is standing is actually a, a false wall? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so... Just make sure we don't take the torch too close to the wall and be quiet. Because there's last time we were here, the chieftain was on the other side of that wall. And he looked really mean, so we didn't fight him. Oh, let's break through the wall and get no. the chief. No. <laughs> it's not safe. Is the door open? It should still be open, I think, right? I don't remember if you guys opened or closed it, so it's just closed. You can always open it. I mean, it's, I mean, not, yeah. it's not like it's... There's other stuff in here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, opening up that door, debris is scattered against the northern wall, the remnants of what seems to be the remnants of shelves and racks. This is where you found the, the map and the saber from the last time. Yeah. You found the saber in that little closet thing with the wardrobe. Yeah, I remember. John is, John's like, okay, okay. So you say we gotta be quiet here. We're, we're, we gotta find Halton. We gotta go in through their thing. You wanna check it out? What are we doing? Can He's I go over and quietly. listen? Can yeah, I go you over can give and me listen a to the door? Okay. I will listen at the door. Listen at the door. Um, on the other side, you hear. Um, you hear. I said, "Brother, I think you might not know. What I am?" And you hear. We say, "Brother, do you mean I? You mean we? You mean I?" I said, "Brother." There's some kind of discussion going on. Deeper voice, higher voice, not sure what. Mm -hmm. You can also hear, okay, let's see, you got an 18. You can also hear the occasional shift, what sounds like the shift of maybe a person shifting from one foot to the other. Um, and you can also, uh, every now and then, there's kind of a giggle, like a, like a, hee <laughs> okay. That's what you hear. What does he smell? <laughs> he smells leather, because that's pretty much what he's got. <laughs> and somewhat rust. He's sort of, well, leather and maybe a, there's sort of a twang of wet fur as well. Um, All right, so there's like minimum three people in the other room, and none of them are human as far as the ones who are talking. There's there's a there's something that sounds deep. There's someone that sounds high pitched, and there's someone who can't stop laughing. So, they're probably insane. Huh. It's possible there's four, but I'm not sure. Why do you want to just want to just bust in and ambush them? Well, it depends who it is. It could be that chieftain guy because he looked really mean. Well, we got more people this time. We got more people this time. Well, because also the originally what I had hoped was we would get here without them noticing at all, and then we would just wait yeah. for the morning, and then the patrol would leave. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's going to happen anymore. That's probably not going to happen. I mean, they might still send out the patrol to to see if they can find us, and they might think that if that they. I think we should wait for a little bit and see if that guy who Artemis said was tracking us ends up finding his way in here. All right, so you guys are going to wait for a bit? Sure. Um, you wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes. No one, you don't see anybody come in. I'm not waiting. I'm, I wanted to um, come over this wall, he said, and I want to see if I can see anything. You it's a wall. Just, you can Is give me this... a perception roll if you'd like. How about the other character with the insane, curious one? Uh -huh. The perception. I think all of her characters are the insane, curious one. That's probably true. That's valid. Um, looking around, um, you don't you don't see any kind of mechanism to kind of open anything. 
So if this is a secret door, like Andal mm-hmm. has been saying it is, it mm-hmm. it's a pretty good one because you have you're unsure how to open it. Huh. I mean, you're unsure how to open it the correct way if it's a secret door. If it's you know, you can always try to break it down. Yeah, I was gonna say, what if I start tapping on it? What happens? Please don't. Oh, please don't. You are giving away the element of surprise. Hey guys, how do you open this door? Like, can we see what's on the other side? I already told you what's on the other side. But he might not be there. How can I look through it to see? You don't need to see. Keep it down. Quiet. Everybody give me a stealth check. Golly. We don't need to see. You can just trust that I can hear. My ears work. I have learned over many years how to use other senses. I swear to God, if I, God damn it, what is with all the <laughs> terrible rolls today from me? I'm not doing so hot either. Well, that was a great, oh, that never warrior, mind. The that warrior, warrior sucks. Pretty, pretty good there. Huh? He sucks. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? Oh, Goblin Warrior. Okay. Um. You guys kind of are doing this sort of the back and forth you've been doing here for a little bit. Um, when uh, uh, you when you say "be quiet, be quiet," you kind of hear a scrape on the other side of the the wall, as if maybe somebody or something is over there. Mm. Fantastic. Um, and then you hear a Aja. I should be sure about it, yeah. And then the, 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 that one's kind of not super loud. And then the one that's much louder go, I should be sure about it. I should be sure about it. And then uh, you hear like sort of footsteps kind of go away from the door. Is that good enough? Can you tell that they're on the other side of the door now? Okay. I believe you. God bless. <laughs> All right. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Do we remember um, what the next room looks like, or at least what it used to look like? Because I thought we uh, opened it at one vague, point when we you, thought you it was there. You briefly opened the door just to crack and looked in, and it was basically there was a was a you're kind of in a small like you vaguely remember it being sort of like this was a small entrance or a small little thing, and there was a wall right here that kind of opened up into a room in this kind of general vicinity. Mm. And you remember there being some torches on the walls. And the last time you kind of opened it up, he was talking to some small goblin that had a weird mask on that then left, and then he talked to some warriors, and then they left, and then you guys decided, eh, we're getting out of here. Then we almost died, but that's not the point. Well, no. Well, yeah, trying to leave you almost died, that's true. Why do I do? I think we should go jump the chieftain. There's multiple people in the room. Leroy has spoken. Can Leroy. we at least, if we're going, if that, but I don't, I don't see any other plan either, but at the very least, we can wait and see if someone else leaves. I mean, I mean we'd be better off with a long rest. In a body bag. That's true. We could long rest in here. They don't know we're in here. This, this is completely like hidden. They've never found us. All right. So should we just do a long rest? It'd be better. All right. Yeah, I get my Artemis can get his back. spell slots. I can oh. get my spell slots. I can have health. Right, okay. you, guys, you guys are going to basically take a long rest in this little secret escape tunnel passage. Yes. That's the plan. I guess. Okay. How many of us are there? 85. Do we want to... Try to all sit in the other room through this first door. So that way, if they do happen to come in randomly, we have like. So is Although this, I guess that chokes like, us off. Dan says like, this doesn't sound like a good plan. We gotta get home now. What? Who knows what they're gonna do to him? They've right, been attacking villagers. Let's go. They've been come on, guys. Stop killing around. people. Let's go. Let's well, go. I think they kill, almost killed that, that guy. Mm. Eh. All right, I'm going to the wall. You're, 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 you're getting the feeling that you're the heroes he has, but not the heroes he wants. Oh, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> we're, we're, the, we're 
we're the heroes who survive. So we're surviving. Well, until Cat goes through the wall. I'm going to start banging on it and telling them to open up. So hurry up, oh guys. Come on. God. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, that's uh, what Don yes. says. You can, you can tamp him down and tell him, no, we gotta, we need to get some abilities back. Artemis, I'm going to turn off your spell because uh, you have a torch if you want. Okay. <sighs> also, you should be able to see further now. Because hey, you guys, have... if we're busting in, we're busting in. I'd rather us all bust in at the same time. Instead of one of us bust in, we have to you know, rush in after so what is this way? Is this where we came in? No, that's another room. There, we've already gone through this area. There's nothing in there anymore. It's just rubble, and then there's a desk. But we've been through no, the both parts of that desk, already. It's a wardrobe. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to go look for it. We're going to look through it while they're doing that. You're going to go do what? He wants to look through, look through the through stuff the in the other room. You're going to look through. You look through there, and it clearly looks like at some point, maybe in the last month, there was something in there, but... Doesn't seem to be anything in there now. Ah, because we took it out. Because <laughs> you took it out. Yeah, we took all the stuff in there. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing Any really of interest. Doors it's, here. It's. Hmm? Any other secret doors? Looking for secret doors in this room? Sure, you can look for secret doors. There's, there's a door. Holes. I found a door. It wasn't oh. secret. Hey. You look around for a bit, um, and you don't find any secret doors or secret compartments or secret anything in there. Yeah. Are we going or not? It seems kind of silly to make secret doors in a place that is supposedly secret. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, it could, it could be a secret door out to the non-secret place. It could maybe one door. Well, that, there's no door. secret doors in this particular place that you're looking in. Right, no, I got it. I'm just saying. So what are we doing? I don't. Yeah, what are you doing? I would like to know that too. Leroy. Yeah, I would like you to go and, and immediately help, but that doesn't mean. Yeah, you have to. Can. yeah I'd like to help. Uh, if we're gonna so go, gonna then go. we should go methodically, which means Morgoth should go first. Okay, well, who put that up? Because you're that's the a good tank. idea. I'm not going first. Silva's well, not tell going me where to first. Go. I'll go. You just tell me Silva where to go. Silva is not going first. <laughs> so where is the the entrance is up there to the left, correct? The entrance is up the long end of this hallway. Okay. So but you said there's can we see the torchlight if I extinguish the light spell? Can we see the torchlight from the other room? Well, you've already extinguished the torchlight. They have a torch that's currently burning. Morgoth okay. currently has a torch that's currently burning. No, he's inside. talking about in the room that in the, is behind room the door. right now, Morgoth has a torch that's burning. So if Morgoth takes the torch out, can we see the light, like see a hole in a wall or something, see light, so maybe we can find the door? Or... You know, I know where the door is. The, uh, it's at the, it's this wall. You know, the, the wonders of Dwarven Christmas. I told you where it is! It is pretty seamless. Do you know how to open it? Yes! I opened it before. I open it. I don't want to open it first. Oh, for crying out loud. You want me to start knocking? Oh my god. Just tell me how to open the door. I will open the door. Tell me where to go. I will go. It's it's this wall. Yeah. I don't remember. Okay. What, what, how did we open it? Yeah, okay, a, push Andrew through the wall. It's, it's, a sliding uh, door. it's a sliding door? Yeah. Where's the handle? So, before we do this, I'm casting Shillelagh on my, on my club. All right, I'm going through. I'm going through, sliding the wall. All right, so you guys are going to do this? Yes, apparently we're doing this. All right, let me follow do real quick first. first. We'll Let's do it. it. Yeah, we're I'll gonna stealth. stealthily open the door. As, yeah. as much as I can, yeah. No. All right, give me a there stealth no, roll with disadvantage. There is no stealth. It's the freaking... Why? All right. Why would you want to stealthily open the door? Not the best stealth, but... All right, so well, roll your initiative here. God bless. I have accidentally rolled somebody else's because I'm just going to roll the NPCs at once and be done with it. There they go. <laughs> All right, give me a Silva thing, and then we will yep. begin the combat. Now, um, you guys get to go first. The uh, That's... Stealth roll wasn't great, but it was good enough. I'll give it. So, 
Um, you guys will all get one action first. You can do them in whatever order you wish. Currently, Morgoth is set up to go first, but you can do it in any order you wish. So who wants to go first? Once we get to Me, actual combat, I'm at the door. it'll be yeah, just... She can go first. All right, so you open the door. Fantastic. You're sliding it, you, you kind of push it, it, it slides, and you push it out a little bit, and it kind of chinks a little bit, and then you can slide it into the wall to the left. Um, so you push open the door. You still have uh, you still have your action. You have one action you can do. One action? Yep. So no movement, just an action? Well, the action can be a move if you so desire. So I'm assuming I can see this dude right here, right? You open the door, you see two women... Two goblin women, they're kind of, they're not right there. They're really draped along the furs that are in this thing. So I should also give you the description, sorry. Um, the smell of wet fur assaults your nose as you enter this room. A pile of matted furs sits along one wall, and the largest goblin you've ever seen sits upon sorry. it. Large in this sense is he's not really tall. He's very heavy set. <laughs> uh, flanked by two goblin women and two goblin warriors. That is what you see. Goblet warrior. Oh, so cool. This would be so, a warrior and a warrior, the warlord, and then these two women are technically draped on either side of the thing, but because of one thing per square, they're just not. Okay. Um, for my action, I'm going to use my um, blood curse of the marked on the big old fat old goblin, the huge goblin. Well, click on it so you bring it up in the thing. In the chat. Nope, and I'm going to spend the extra to amplify it so that I get advantage on my next attack roll against him. Wait, hang on. Okay. Okay. All right. So and that's my bonus action, roll your, right? Roll your Humacraft die. And... So you okay. take three points of damage. Mm -hmm. Three yep. points, yep. and then the, everything is set up. All right. And uh, that was my bonus action. That's it. Well, that's a bonus. That doesn't count. Does you it? get one action, bonus action, action, or <laughs> melee, or move. That's it. Oh, oh. One thing. You can do one thing in the surprise round. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. So you've set yourself up. You've marked the guy. You've played the blood curse. Your curse is on him. You're ready to go. Okay. Or you so I'll have, do that I'll have advantage and I'll do additional mm -hmm. right damage. Correct. So that'll be you. whenever you deal right damage, you deal an additional die. Okay. Yep. So I'll do two die plus my short bow if I make a hit and I'll have advantage. Mm -hmm. Can't do that yet. When, but okay. not yet. All right. Okay, and who else it. is doing anything? You can do a um, move, an action, yes. or a bonus action. I'm moving in. I thought bonus action was part of the action. No, no. bonus action I is a separate thing. I think yeah. You can do anything with it. Like, you could move. You yeah, I, I got to remember that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it depends on what you have as a bonus action thing. Like, Andal has a bonus action to dash, for instance. So he could do that as his bonus action. But the whole point here is you get one, you can do one right. thing here. So I'm going to half move into here so I can see. Okay. There's my uh, surprise. Okay. Morgoth's gone. I'm gonna step back. Shelly's gone. Artemis is gone. Andal, Silva, you guys doing anything? Jan is trying. To, Jan is trying to get up to you guys, but or get up there, but that's about it. I would like to. I guess I can't really go any farther because I'll end up in somebody's square. All right. So the the Mamba chain has been formed. Yes. All right. Please, lightning bolt us now. Please go in with me. All right, Morgoth. We I can't. can't. I can't make it there. Beginning of the round, Morgoth. Wait, how can you not make it there, Brian? Because I, I was back here. So oh, five, you had to move 10, stuff. 15, I can 20, move in there. I can move in there and make it. I, I, I can't I, I get there. I can't. I it's cannot again. make it. I don't have enough movement. Okay. Then I do can. it. Me. Right. I was so just saying, I can. Coming in here, you can see One, two, there are two kind of anemic torches so it's already lit for you to be able to see stuff but morgoth you're up where did i was go oh um i'm attacking we're action. now starting actual combat morgoth you're up i'm attacking this okay go for it 
Uh, there it is. What is that? Well, that's a 24 to hit. That'll hit, but you only nice. get four points of damage. So Morgoth, you rush oh. into the room. They seem a little shocked as you get in there, and uh, you attack, and the Hill Goblin Warrior just can't seem to avoid your strike. But at the last second, he does kind of just jerk off slightly out of the way, and you just kind of shave off a bit of his arm, his uh, his arm. So he's got like a scrape on there now. It just wasn't as good as you were hoping. Then I'm gonna go here. You're gonna go where? Okay. All right, Andal, you're up. Andal. 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 Me. Andalia. That's you. Andal the sandal. Andal, you're up. I'm going to... Is this a warrior that is that warrior off attacked? No, that's the woman. No. No, that's woman, a warrior. Woman, woman, warrior, warrior, warlord. I am going to shoot the one that is not the woman. This one. Okay. Uh... With my bow. My short bow. Okay. It's so short. Did I miss? Uh, your, oh. ar your arrow comes over and then just kind of hits in and skitters off of the uh, plate, the armor that he's wearing. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, anything else? This is not good. Actually, you also technically technically it goes wide because technically you have disadvantage because you're I do. Right, you're right next to an enemy combat. Is she gonna hit me? You're technically in melee. It's not safe. Okay. Uh, either way, you miss. I'm just saying technically. Uh, you have all right, well, I guess I'm not doing anything else because I'm freaking useless. I mean, you can move if you'd like. We all do that though. Where? Move one to the left. Uh, I don't want to be in there. Or one back. Yeah, All that right. one's better. Oh, the uh, woman does not attack you. Well, that's nice. Then why do I have disadvantage? Because she's still an enemy combatant. Because she's still within five feet. Garbage. Just, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hill Goblin. All right, so actually, yes, this is the woman. Um, the woman screams. Ah! Um, <laughs> and she turns and runs. Do you attack her, Morgoth, with a reaction? Nah. Two, three, four, five, six. And she's screaming the whole way. One, two, three, four. This is not going to end six. well. <laughs> she runs off down the hall. You uh, can't kill her in one swing, so it doesn't matter what I do. Another one as well and runs, oops, and runs uh. up, basically runs beyond this wall, which seems to take her somewhere. She doesn't come back, and uh, she screams as well. As she runs. All right. So that's there. They are effectively out of the combat at this point. This warrior comes over here and it's to there and attacks Morgoth. Let's do this, bro. All right. He swings his kind of spiky mace at you and he gets a 19 to hit. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. So you take. Three points of bludgeoning damage and three points of spike of piercing damage, so six points total. And then the other one swings at you at the same time, and he gets a fifteen, so he that one misses. So you kind of swipe at that guy. He's very shocked that you guys brushing in on there, and then one kind of gets over his shock and comes up and swings his thing at you. You just you're unable to get your shield up in time. Um, as it kind of slams into the side of you and kind of draws a little bit of blood. The other one, at the same time, recovers as well and swings at you, but you're able to dodge out of the way of that one. Um, Shelly, you're up. Alrighty. Okay, so... Whew. All right, let's do this. I'm going to get my stuff ready. Rolling with advantage. What are you doing? Um, the guy I had marked. Advantage. I'm try he's got partial cover, so his armor class is going to be higher because of where you're at, not because he's behind anything, but because you're in a doorway. Oh, well, hang on. Move in and shoot. There we go. That's fine. 
Yeah. Okay. So you'll hit. And then I'll do my extra hematocrit. So and then it's another points. three. Ten points. All right. So you fire an arrow in at him and it hits him. Makes some damage. Um, it slams into, uh, it kind of grazes across the top of his shoulder. Um, definitely does some damage to him, though. And he starts to bleed a little bit. All right. Uh, anything else? Can't end your turn there because you're on top of somebody. Okay, so I got to move one you more. You got to move one more, either forward or back. Your choice. Uh, I'll step back. Okay, that's fine. Silva. All right. <laughs> Which, by doing what you've done, Kat, you're basically forcing your weakest person to stay in the room. But that's cool. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I, love I it. don't. <laughs> Because I'm not, I'm not gonna <laughs> move. I'm not that strong either. So, uh, you can come back out. No, I can't. I don't have enough movement. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It'll take 25 or 20 to get me in there. Yeah, you're. What I mean by strongest is you have a much higher armor class than she does. All right. I, <laughs> Well, um, hang on, let me let no, me no, see. No, where... no, 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 you've you've done what you've done. No, it's okay. done. It's all right. Done. It is currently Silva's turn. I will think of something. You don't have to go in, Silva. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. You can. I'm trying to decide whether I whether I want to risk it or not. I mean, do you um, have a healing spell? Maybe you heal Shelly. I'll She's be able to damage. force disadvantage. Um. Yeah, I could use some healing. Who's got more points <laughs> off? Um, Maybe or you Shelley? should save your healing for the guy who's going to be taking all the damage. Yeah, that might also be <laughs> somewhat useful. Well, I mean, I only got one slot left, so I might well Exactly. Um, plus, I have to be within uh, touch range anyway. All right, and so I mean, Homunculus is dead. Yes. So. so you're not healing uh, any of them? Nope. I will, I will like... Ready in action. If I get a glimpse of somebody to shoot, I'll shoot him. Okay, Artemis, you're up. <laughs> so I will go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So is there anything flammable in here? So, like I said, it smells the wet. The fur smells very wet. So okay, it might, might be flammable, but you're not sure how flammable it is. There is debris around here. It's basically a mix of stone and rotting wood. Um, again, it might be flammable. It's hard to say. Okay. So I'm going to disengage. Okay. Four. Five. Uh, five for diagonal. Six. Can I block the door here? There is no door there. It's just a hallway. There's stairs, right? There's a block. There's stairs going as well going up. Yep. And I'm going to rage with my bonus action. Okay. And that is going to be painful. All right. All right. The Warlord's turn. The Warlord is very shocked. And he says in common, he says, Who are you? What are you doing in my domain? What are you doing in my swamp? Come to negotiate for the... Uh... <laughs> and then he says, No negotiation. And, well, he does the following. Against Artemis. Here's the first attack against Artemis. That's definitely a miss. Yep. Here's the second attack against Artemis. That Wait, is a 19 to hit. And That'll it'll be hit. eight points of slashing. You are of rage, so it's only four. Yep. Um, and then I have to check something. Um Got to check something because his bonus action might be. I might have transliteration something wrong. I don't, it feels like this should be like an action of some sort. So I got to figure. Does this out guy have freaking like range? What do you mean? Does he? Or is John closer than I can see? No, John is right next to him. Okay, John is closer <laughs> than I can see from where I'm at. So, to block the door. John's trying to block the door. It's a good. It's a good. Good thought. I'm not disagreeing with that thought. I'm just. He's going to probably no. pay for it a bit. Oh, that was the question, but in theory, I could take more than some. Yeah, no, no, totally. I'm just trying to figure out what. Oh, okay. It's there. Okay. 
Interesting. Um, all right. That is going to be his turn. Yeah, that's going to be his turn. Um, let's see. Jan. One, one, two, three, four. Five, six, he gets to there and he's gonna attack this guy. Nah, that was not intended to hit. I don't know why it just did an athletics check, because I wasn't even close to that. He swings with his long sword at that guy, and he actually hits and does oh. maximum damage. So this guy takes nine points of damage. And top of the round, Morgoth, you're up. Okay. I'm going to hit this dude again. Uh, hopefully. Oh. oh. Shoot. I do something. I don't think I hit. Uh, six will definitely miss. And in fact, you kind of kind of clang up against the guy's mace and that just arms your your it jostles your arm and you drop your weapon can i pick it back up um uh, as a no you have to spend some time next round to pick it back up sorry okay i'm done sorry i'm adding some people to the combat Well, luckily for you guys, they're on pretty low issues. <laughs> All right, Andal, you're up. I'm going to drop my bow and pull out my sword. Okay. You can pull it out as a move, during your move, so... And that is acceptable. I draw! And from my... Where's my thing at? Did I close it on accident? I close oh, it on did accident. you? And then I will stab the man. Uh, 15 misses. <sighs> it clangs up against his armor. Everything sucks, man. Why can't I roll anything? That's a pretty good roll. 15 is <laughs> not a bad roll. You should start yes, to think is. about what's going on here. Um, all right. So she goes and screams and screams and <laughs> screams. So one, two... Okay, this one, oops, I do that. Okay, gets there. All right, we got ourselves a warrior who is going to continue attacking Morgoth with his spiked mace. Any misses? Nope. And then we got another warrior who's going to continue attacking Morgoth with his spike mace. Oh. Well, uh, he doesn't get the crit, but he does hit. hit but only does three points of damage only because three. he does the minimum of all of it. <laughs> Jeez. That's good. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right. <sighs> uh, Shelly, you're up. Alrighty. Um, one. Come on, move one. And then let's see. Two. There's a guy there. Uh, I'll keep. What was that? Oh, uh, I'll keep. Initiative for people who have been alerted to your presence. Uh, I'll keep shooting at um, him. Okay. Trying to anyway. Okay. Go for it. Nice. That will hit. 
Okay, and... Mm -hmm. Oh, not so much. Well, that's good. Eight. Okay. And he doesn't have a shield, right? Because my um, Crimson Right ignores shield for AC purposes. He does not have a shield. I didn't think he had one. Right. I have to ask this again. Where's this extra plus two coming from for your short bow? One's, one's proficiency, one's your dexterity. Where's this extra plus two coming from? Fighting type, archery. Okay, thank you. Yep. That's one I want to make sure of. I just couldn't remember where it coming from. <laughs> yep. Hill Goblin. Where is this Hill Goblin? He's somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. One, two. Five. All right. Uh, Hill Goblin comes down the stairs to your uh, Artemis. Yep. Silva, you're up. Queens. All right. So, twenty. And I can see people to shoot with bullets. Uh, I will shoot the one that's on Morgoth right yep. there. With the gun, and hopefully it makes everyone deaf. <laughs> yes. 21 will hit. Cool beans. A loud and retort as a, a gun seven. goes off. And a bullet, a lead ball, strikes through the side of, of, uh, of the, this side of the, the little goblin that... And it would have probably went further, except it just happens to slam into part of, part of his, his armor. All right. Artemis. Did they kill him? No. Well, that sucks. All right. So, um, I don't have a bonus action attack. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to hit the uh, big guy. Okay. Okay. And the way I'm going to have to do this, because I don't have the shillelagh effect for an attack, really. So if I, for the purposes, can I roll club and then roll again? But the, the advantages are different. Well, you got a one, so you drop your club anyway. Yeah. yeah. So. But I did swing at him. You did swing at him. That is true. And then... Um, Any cool secret bonus actions? I guess I'm just going to stay there. Okay. Another hip goblin comes down the hall. Yep. All right. Warlord. Warlord steps here. And then attacks Artemis with a plus two because now you're being flanked. Yep. Multi attack, long sword. I'll add a two to this attack. It's only an 11. I believe that still misses. That does. And then another attack with his long sword. That no. is only a nine because I'm getting the oh, bad no. rolls as well. <laughs> yeah. um, did you strike at the Warlord? You did. I didn't strike the world yet. Yeah, so I should have. His five foot step should have been to there in the first place, so he didn't really move this round. They have a slippery thing where if you miss him with attack, they can move five feet without provoking attack through opportunity. Not oh, that okay. he would have anyway, but um, anyway, so Jan. Jan's going to come to here so he can help out Morgoth by getting a uh, flanking bonus with Morgoth. So he's going to attack. This is going to be plus two. That is going to be a 19, which is still not enough to hit. It clangs off the back of the armor of this goblin. Then we have one more hill goblin doing something. Let's see. Oh, there he is. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. He sees what's going on there. Six, 
and there he gets to there. Uh, top of the round, Morgoth. You have, if you attack the one directly in front of you, this guy, you get a plus two to attack. Can I pick up my sword? Yes, you can pick okay. up your sword. Can I still attack? Um, you can bonus action pick up your sword. This one, yes. So you've lost your bonus action for this round, but that's it. Okay. Murder time. Uh, can I... There's no way to do like that one thing without adding a plus two, is there? What's one thing? Uh, like doing it like where you just... That's a... Uh, well, that would be a nine. Nine does not hit. It slams up against his... You just, he just dodges out of the way. Okay, I'm done. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, two. Now there's another warrior. Um, he gets to there because he, that was this double move to get to there. Andal, you're up. I'm gonna shift here. Okay. I'm stabbing him again. Okay. I mean, if you can hit, you're gonna get sneak attack damage because there's guys around him. That will hit. <laughs> and you, you as so. Here's what happened. Uh, Jan got to the other side, kind of slammed him, hit him in the back, um, and then uh, Morgoth tra- picked up his weapon and tried to swing, but just missed. But while while he's dodging that one, you're you basically jab him with your short sword, and it goes right through his side, and he crumples to the ground without even get doing destroyed, it. idiot, fool. All right, you're bad. We'll have more move and a bonus action. Yeah, uh, get here. What can I do? Do the guy can hi- perform a hide action yeah, and get it, and, and so it be successful? You? No, because there's no place to hide. No, no, I don't think so either. All right, I'm gonna just I'm staying staying here. I mean, you can move out of the room and try to hide. Yes, but you can't. No, I'm done. All right. Get out of the room and try to hide. I don't have a ranged weapon on me right now. Oh. <laughs> All right, so another guy's coming down. It's becoming conga line here. Uh, where does this hell go? Oh, this is the woman. Right. So who's got our healing? Nobody, right. Got it. There is no healing in this party. I've got the healing, but it's a touch action. Wow. If we have some, that's something. Like I've got I've got cure wounds. Um, right, so this guy comes up to you, Margoth, and attacks with his mace. Mm, that's probably a miss. A five. Miss. As a bonus action, because he can hear the the warlord, he can make another uh, attack with disadvantage. So he misses oh, that one miss. too. All right, Shelly, you're up. That's a cool ability, though. Yeah, oh, I keep on forgetting to use it. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm gonna take down the warlord. Yeah, let's. Let me see where. I'm hitting him to be a... Step in. Because of where uh, he's moved to, he has partial cover. Oh no. I can see him from here, though, right? Yes, yeah, partial cover. You're shooting from within doorways. You can see him, but he still has partial cover because of the doorways. Okay. If you wish to have no bonus to his AC, you have to move to here at a minimum. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then I shall move to here. Okay. And target the warlord. Oh, please hit. Nope. Okay. Uh, that definitely misses, yes. Okay. Uh, anything else? I'm going to say nope. Okay. I got nothing else. All right. This hill goblin attacks you, Artemis, with a scimitar, with a plus two. That would be uh, 20 to hit. Okay. Four points, knock to two, so two points of damage. Okay. Um, He 
He then takes a bonus attack with disadvantage on you, which misses, because a 10 is not going to do it, even with a plus 2. 12, 12 doesn't hit you. You're like at 15 or something right now. I'm at 17. Okay. He then moves away. Do you want to hit him or not? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get him. All right. I'm going to hit him. Um, Smack him! Three, four, five. He moves back there. Um, Silva, you're up. Okay. Um... I think we're going to reach the bottom the of this tr- round. We're probably going to stop for two. Oh, that's a person right there. I will shoot this person. Yes, there's a warrior right there. In fact, he's kind of actually facing this direction. Warrior. Uh, 17 misses. So another bang shoots out. Shelly, it's kind of deafening as the as the Silva shoots something past you with her gun. Do um, so the warriors have plate too? The warriors have 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 plate armor. Have some kind of plate. It's a very dirty plate. This guy does not. The warrior oh, doesn't he... have plate armor. Okay. You guys have hit him a few times, actually. More yeah. than you've hit the warriors. <laughs> he just has a lot more hit points. I thought he had plate. So no, he does, not. he does not. Silva, so that misses. Move and bonus. What do you want to do? Yep. Uh, um. Can I? Who is is uh? Who's got the most damage on him? Um, I step in here for a say. sec. We we should get that warlord real well, quick. Just, just hold off for a second because I'll probably have a bunch of damage here in a minute. I I'm down seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the middle of three. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Artemis is about to start getting shellacked. Yeah. <laughs> All I right. mean, he's done a really good job. Um, he's done a good that's... thing. Don't get me wrong. But he's about to get shellacked. Yeah. It might not be till next round. Next round is the bad one. Next round is um, when this guy comes. But yeah. Which you can't quite that's see. That's my yet. turn. All right, Artemis, it is your turn. I'm going to try to hit the warlord. Okay. Fortunately, you miss again. Yep, so actually, that's going to be plus. I don't suppose you get an 11 to hit, would it? No, no. it's not, unfortunately. No. Um, but good to know that it is more than what you say on the dice. I won't immediately tell you yes or no from now on. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to try to do? I guess I'll. How much armor does a trapper have? Uh, he's wearing like like hide armor. Okay, do I get plus two because he's next to it with thirteen hit? No, no. it's flanking. You have to be no. flanking to get the plus okay. two. No, he's not a twenty. The warlord? Warlord's no, not a twenty. The warrior is a twenty. Oh, yeah. I'll stay there. All right, so this hill goblin now attacks you. Yep. Uh, with his little weapon. So the first double ones, he just drops the weapon. He drops the weapon, woo! Um, and because of that, he runs away, and you have no reaction to do anything about it anyway. So one. I'm gonna try to hit him on my reaction. You don't have a reaction. You. Oh no. My turn went again. Your turn went. So you can. Step. Yep, you can. I forgot about that. Your turn it just went. So. He's still running away because he dropped his weapon. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> That's just the, the general gist of it. But I was like, about the combat. That will definitely hit, but does very little damage to him as he runs away. Well, it's actually it's a D eight. The club's only a D four, so that's a problem. Well, modify, so D8. modify the club to to yeah. to have it do a D eight. That's what I need to do, and use my other bonus. So one plus my plus two for raging is three plus so six points. Where's the extra plus three coming from? So plus two for raging. Mm-hmm. Uh, I use my scout, my uh, spell proficiency for damage. Okay, no, that's what I was curious about. That's the thing. Yeah, that's so the, that's 
Oh, I'm saying I've got to modify it big time. Yeah, just make a duplicate of the club, call it Shillelagh Club, and put in the, the stuff, and then you'll you'll be fine. So, so I well, just forgot to do it. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. I'm just letting you know that that's an easy way to do it. Does that kill him? No, it does not. It hurts him a lot, but it does not kill him. Damn it. Um, actually, you know what? It doesn't hurt him at all. He takes he takes a disengage because he can do that as a bonus. And well, then I so have you still reaction. you still have your reaction. That's which you probably want anyway, for a yep. wide variety of reasons. Um, so our uh, our illustrious warlord uh, drinks a hoblin, a hobgoblin healing potion or a goblin healing potion, gains a boatload of you know <laughs> it points back, um, and uh, yeah, that was his turn. Uh, well, that's a bonus action. Sorry. Drinking a, heal, a potion yourself is a bonus action. So, he is going to attack you still with his longsword. I think that's a miss on the first one. Because he doesn't have plus two right now because of uh, the guy left. And that's also a miss. Man, if I could only roll well. Jan! Oh, okay. uh, Jan's going to attack the warlord as well. And he gets a six, so he misses as the thing yeah. rolls through. And now this goblin moves, whoops, sorry, I did not mean to move Jan, I meant to move the goblin. This goblin moves up to you and attacks you. Um, that's not the one that ran? That's not the one that ran. Uh, he misses, but he's going to do a dis, uh, a bonus action because he can hear the warlord. He'll do a disadvantaged one, which also misses. Cause it's all miss. no. All right, and that is the end of the round, and we're going to stop there for tonight. Because I have to get ready to go someplace and be someplace by six. Um, so we're in the middle of this combat. You guys have burst in onto the warlord. Clearly, more and more goblins are starting to show up. Um, so this might start to become an untenable position at some point, but so far it is not. Well, definitely. <laughs> like once it becomes, it's just going to be a snowball and it's over. It's maybe, a... maybe I could stand in the corner and start range shooting the goblins as they come in, and we, we, everybody gang up on the warlord. You gotta kill the warlord. That's the yeah. Because that double attack thing, and I'm gonna start doing not only so if we can take him hostage, maybe we can negotiate our way out of this. Anyway, just sounds thought. sounds like an interesting thought. I will. We will pick this up again in a couple weeks. All right. Enjoy. Thanks. Are you going to leave the server so I can modify this? All right.